We all know those people burdened with their own insecurities and unexpressed pains. Their weight is contagious, seeping into our energy, overshadowing our hopes, and subtly gnawing at our sense of possibilities. While not always malicious, it's undeniably harmful. However, the harsh truth is that protecting our inner light and the path toward growth sometimes requires painful decisions. It means facing the possibility of distancing ourselves from loved ones, even those bound to us by blood and history. I invite you to stay until the end where you'll find valuable lessons to strengthen all your plans. In any moment in life, if this is your first time on my channel, I ask that you help me by subscribing and liking the video so I can continue creating more content like this in the future. In this space of reflection, we delve into the complexity of human relationships and the importance of preserving our emotional well-being. We acknowledge that sometimes courage for radical change is essential for our personal growth and mental health. Today, we are faced with warning signs indicating it's time to distance ourselves, even from those close to our hearts like dear friends or family members. Our journey toward self-preservation and personal growth can be challenging and full of obstacles, but it's also deeply rewarding. By confronting the warning signs and taking steps to distance ourselves from toxic or unhealthy relationships, we are taking a step towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. We allow ourselves to release emotional weight and find space to connect with our loved ones. We allow ourselves to connect with people who nourish us, inspire us, and help us grow. This journey may seem impossible, but the first step is to recognize that we deserve more. The first step is to recognize that we deserve to move forward. Are you ready? Constant disrespect is a phenomenon that deserves careful analysis, as its impact can be deeper than it initially appears. Often this behavior begins subtly, with seemingly innocent comments or jokes that devalue our actions, achievements, or emotions. However, over time, we can begin to recognize that we deserve more. Over time, these corrosive attitudes can undermine our self-esteem and erode the quality of our relationships. When we refer to constant disrespect, we're talking about a pattern of behavior that undermines our dignity and makes us feel belittled and misunderstood. Disrespect can manifest in various forms, from relentless criticism that fails to acknowledge our efforts and achievements to disguised mockery that in reality hurts our deepest feelings. It's like a slow poison that may not be immediately noticed but gradually undermines our self-esteem. It's like a slow poison that may not be immediately noticed but gradually undermines our self-esteem and confidence. Especially when this disrespect comes from someone who holds a special place in our lives, it can be difficult to recognize its negative effects. Constant disrespect can begin to infiltrate our self-image, making us doubt our worth, our abilities, and even our most basic truths. Recognizing this sign is not always easy. It requires brutal honesty and a willingness to look beyond the surface of the relationships we maintain. However, it's an essential step on the journey to protect our emotional space and ensure that we're surrounded by people who respect, value, and support us. Understanding that constant disrespect has no place in healthy relationships is the first step to freeing ourselves from the toxic bonds that bind us. It's a profound realization that goes beyond just acknowledging mistreatment. It's about reclaiming our inherent worth and dignity. Each of us deserves to be treated with respect and kindness, regardless of external circumstances or others' behavior. This recognition is not merely a matter of self-preservation, but a fundamental assertion of our right to thrive in relationships that uplift and support us. In healthy relationships, mutual respect forms the foundation upon which trust, communication, and genuine connection can flourish. When someone consistently undermines our sense of self-worth or belittles our achievements, it's a clear sign that the relationship is detrimental to our well-being. Recognizing this toxicity is pivotal to safeguarding our emotional and mental health. Removing toxic individuals from our lives can be daunting. It may involve setting firm boundaries, having difficult conversations, or even completely disengaging from harmful dynamics. This process demands courage and self-awareness, as well as a commitment to prioritizing our own happiness and peace of mind. While it's natural to fear loneliness or feel obligated by history or duty, continuing to endure mistreatment for the sake of familiarity or perceived obligation only perpetuates our own suffering. Choosing to distance ourselves from toxic relationships is an act of self-compassion and empowerment, not selfishness. It signifies a willingness to prioritize our own growth and well-being over the temporary discomfort of change. By honoring our boundaries and asserting our worth, we pave the way for healthier, more fulfilling connections in the future.
Moreover, our self-esteem should never hinge on the opinions or validations of others, especially those who perpetuate negativity or criticism. The judgments of toxic individuals do not define our true value as individuals. Instead, true self-worth stems from within, nurtured by self-acceptance, self-respect, and a commitment to personal growth. In essence, liberating ourselves from toxic relationships is a transformative journey toward authenticity and emotional freedom. It's a conscious decision to surround ourselves with positivity, support, and genuine love, qualities that nurture our spirit and contribute to a life of fulfillment and joy. By embracing our right to healthy, respectful relationships, we embark on a path that honors our worth and enables us to live authentically and abundantly. However, it's also important to discern between constructive criticism and mere empty words. Not all external opinions are equally valid or useful. Through a process of reflection and analysis, we can separate the noise from the substance and recognize genuine criticisms that can help us grow and improve. Taking the time to reflect on our relationships and establish healthy boundaries is an important part of self-care. We should not feel guilty for distancing ourselves from people who harm us or prevent us from growing. On the contrary, we should recognize that we deserve to be treated with respect and love, both by others and by ourselves. By making decisions that prioritize our well-being and happiness, we are taking a courageous step towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. Abuse, 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 or physical abuse is a truth that cuts to the bone. It's a poison that stealthily infiltrates a relationship, corroding its essence. Emotional abuse in particular is a betrayal of the heart, a violation that shatters the sense of security. It goes far beyond words and concrete actions, insidiously penetrating the mind and heart, whispering lies that undermine self-esteem and distort perceptions of oneself and the world around. Every painful comment and every act of manipulation are like sharp hooks. They're like jagged edges, dragging you into a dark labyrinth of doubts and guilt. It's a place where the light of hope seems distant and hard to reach. Emotional abuse creates a destructive cycle that traps the victim in a web of fear and despair. As cruel words and manipulative gestures repeat, the victim often feels powerless and isolated, unable to escape the toxic cycle in which they're trapped. Furthermore, emotional abuse can have lasting consequences on the victim's mental and emotional health. It can lead to a range of issues, including anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and relationship difficulties. Often the victim is stuck in a state of constant vigilance, always waiting for the next attack, which can lead to a chronic state of stress and trauma. It's important to recognize that emotional abuse is not just an individual problem, but also a social problem that needs to be addressed collectively. This involves educating people about the signs of abuse and empowering them to seek help and support when needed. It's also crucial to hold abusers accountable for their behavior and ensure that there are consequences for their actions. Ultimately, combating emotional abuse requires a multifaceted approach that involves community support, access to appropriate resources and services, and a firm commitment to creating healthy and respectful relationships. It's only through this collective effort that we can hope to create a world where everyone can live free from the fear and oppression of emotional abuse. This dark labyrinth is filled with invisible thorns of distrust and anxiety, fueled by the concerns and by the concerns sown by the abuser. It makes you question your own perceptions and judgments, leading you to doubt your own thoughts and feelings. It makes you feel guilty for things that are beyond your control making you believe that you're responsible for the abuser's actions. The abuser's subtle manipulation creates an atmosphere of confusion and disorientation, where the victim finds themselves trapped in an endless cycle of self-flagellation and self-blame. Every time you try to escape the labyrinth, you find yourself facing invisible walls of fear and anxiety, fueled by the abuser's manipulative words and actions. Emotional abuse not only robs you of your joy and sense of well-being, but also slowly erodes your identity and self-confidence. It makes you feel small and insignificant, as if your thoughts and feelings don't matter. It makes you believe that you don't deserve love or respect, perpetuating a toxic cycle of self-sabotage and self-loathing. It's important to understand that emotional abuse is not your fault and does not define your worth as a person. You deserve to be treated with love, respect, and dignity in all your relationships. Breaking the cycle of abuse requires courage and support, but it's possible to find a way out of the dark labyrinth and begin the journey towards healing and recovery. Physical abuse is a brutal blow that leaves scars not only on the body, but also on the mind and soul. Every blow, every aggression, 
deeply wounds, leaving visible and invisible marks that linger long after the physical wounds have healed. If you're experiencing this heartbreak, it's essential to understand that you're not alone and that help is available. The first step to healing is the courage to break the silence, to understand that you deserve something better than fear and pain. You deserve love, respect, and safety in all your relationships. There is no justification for abuse, and it's crucial not to let fear silence it. Speaking about your experience, whether with a loved one, a trusted friend, or a healthcare professional, is an essential step in starting the recovery process. Sharing your story not only alleviates emotional burdens, but can also provide a crucial support network during difficult times. It's important to recognize that distancing yourself from abuse is not a sign of weakness, but of strength and courage. It's an act of self-love and self-defense, a powerful statement that you deserve a life free from violence and fear. By making this decision, you are reclaiming your power and reaffirming your right to a peaceful and fulfilling existence. The path to healing can be challenging and often involves facing difficult feelings and confronting painful memories. However, it's important to remember that you are not alone in this journey. There is a wide range of resources available to offer support and guidance, from support helplines and emergency shelters, to support groups and therapists specializing in trauma. Don't hesitate to seek help and support whenever you need it. You deserve to be heard, respected, and supported on your healing journey. Remember that you are aware and a warrior in this battle for your life and happiness. Every step you take towards breaking free from abuse is a victory, and you are writing a new story for yourself, a story of self-love, resilience, and hope. Seeking support is crucial when facing abuse. A friend's outstretched hand, a loved one's unconditional support, or a counselor's specialized guidance can be your lifelines in the midst of the storm. You are not alone on this path towards freedom and healing. Escaping from an abusive situation not only implies physical safety, but also asserting your own worth and your right to a life free from violence or mistreatment. You deserve to live a life of integrity and dignity, not one marked by the scars of abuse and pain. Imagine a life illuminated by the warm glow of the sun, where each day is an opportunity to grow, heal, and flourish. That's the life you deserve, far from the darkness and fear that abuse tries to impose on you. Remember that distancing yourself from abuse is not a sign of weakness, but of strength and courage. It's an act of self-determination and self-love, affirming that you deserve something better and that you're willing to fight for it. If abuse has obscured your path and you feel trapped in darkness, remember that escaping is not a sign of surrender, but a brave step towards the future you've always deserved. It's the beginning of a new life where you are the protagonist, navigating your journey with love and peace as steadfast companions. Boundary transgression serves as a stark reminder, akin to blaring alarms signaling a fundamental lack of respect within relationships. When someone repeatedly crosses the boundaries you've set, it sends a powerful message that your feelings, needs, and desires are being disregarded. It can feel as though your concerns are dismissed and your voice goes unheard. Boundaries are not just a suggestion. They are vital pillars in any relationship, whether emotional, physical, or digital. They function much like the nervous system of a healthy bond, ensuring equilibrium and safeguarding the well-being of all parties involved. When these boundaries are violated or consistently ignored, it disrupts this balance and threatens the integrity of the relationship itself. Recognizing these signs of disrespect is crucial. They serve as clear indicators that the dynamics within the relationship may be skewed, demanding attention and action. Establishing clear boundaries and effectively communicating them are essential steps to protect your emotional health and foster healthy, respectful connections. Boundaries act as delineations, defining acceptable behavior and promoting mutual respect in interactions. In today's complex world, where moral lines can blur, identifying breaches of these boundaries becomes increasingly critical. Ignoring these warning signs can destabilize even the strongest relationships. Boundary violations can manifest in subtle yet impactful ways. For instance, Someone might persist in discussing topics that you've explicitly labeled as off-limits, breaching the boundary you've set to safeguard your mental and emotional well-being. Addressing these breaches requires courage and self-awareness. It involves assertively reaffirming your boundaries and asserting their importance in maintaining a healthy relationship dynamic. This process may also entail setting consequences for repeated violations and, in some cases, re-evaluating the viability of the relationship itself. By valuing and protecting your boundaries, 
You affirm your worth and contribute to creating relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. This proactive approach not only enhances personal well-being, but also cultivates environments where individuals can thrive and grow together authentically. They may also invade your personal space, disregarding your needs for privacy and comfort. It may even happen that they reject your request to establish a certain distance, which is a clear indicator of a lack of respect for your emotional and physical boundaries. Recognizing and enforcing these boundaries is crucial for preserving emotional well-being and maintaining healthy relationships. By setting clear boundaries, you're communicating your values, needs, and expectations to others. This not only promotes self-respect but also encourages mutual respect within the relationship. Additionally, it's important to remember that establishing healthy boundaries isn't just about saying no when necessary, but also about expressing your preferences, desires, and limitations in a clear and assertive manner. Open and honest communication is key to establishing and maintaining effective boundaries in any relationship. By recognizing and respecting others' boundaries, you're demonstrating empathy, consideration, and mutual respect, which are essential for building and maintaining meaningful and healthy connections. Therefore, be firm in enforcing your boundaries and equally attentive to others' boundaries, as it's through this balance that truly respectful and enriching relationships can thrive. Recognizing these boundary violations is essential for preserving the integrity of your relationships and maintaining an environment of mutual respect. It's not just about setting boundaries, but also about enforcing these boundaries when they're crossed. It's an act of self-care and self-affirmation that ensures your needs and desires are respected in any interpersonal interaction. When someone close crosses the boundaries you've established, they're not only invading your personal space, but also undermining the very foundations of trust and respect necessary for any relationship to flourish. These actions are not only invasive, but also destructive, leaving a trail of mistrust and resentment in their wake. It's natural for recognizing that someone you trust is transgressing these boundaries to be deeply disturbing and often painful. However, it can evoke feelings of confusion, anxiety, and even sadness. Nevertheless, this recognition is crucial for your mental and emotional well-being. By becoming aware of the harm caused by these boundary violations, you take the first step towards defending your own emotional health. Recognizing the importance of your boundaries and steadfastly defending them not only empowers you, but also establishes a clear standard of self-respect in all your relationships. It's not about being inflexible, but rather about recognizing and demanding the respect you deserve in all your relationships. Confronting the transgressor or even considering ending the relationship may seem like an impossible task especially when deep emotional bonds are involved. However, it's important to remember that you deserve to be valued and respected in all your interactions, not worn down or belittled. Self-esteem and emotional well-being are fundamental to a fulfilling and satisfying life, and tolerating constant violations of your boundaries can severely undermine your self-esteem and happiness. You deserve to be treated with compassion, consideration, and dignity in all your relationships whether with friends, family, or romantic partners. If someone continues to violate the boundaries you've established, it's crucial to stop and reflect on the value of that relationship in your life. Is it bringing more joy and support than concern and distress? Are you growing as a person or feeling stagnant and stifled? Asking these difficult questions marks the initial stride towards making decisions that are pivotal for safeguarding your long-term emotional well-being. Ending a relationship that no longer serves you should never be viewed as a weakness. Instead, it reflects strength and a profound level of self-awareness. It's a testament to your commitment to self-love and a dedication to prioritizing your own happiness and mental health above all else. Taking such steps is crucial in fostering an environment where you can thrive, surrounded by relationships that nurture your growth as an individual. Imagine the subtle and intricate manipulations of a puppeteer, deftly pulling invisible strings to control your every move. This metaphor paints a vivid picture of a skilled manipulator who uses emotions as tools and employs guilt as a weapon. Initially appearing charming and persuasive, these manipulators often hide a deeper agenda rooted in a desire for dominance and control. They may employ tactics such as emotional manipulation, gaslighting to make you doubt your own reality, and coercion to maintain a toxic cycle of emotional abuse and dependency. Recognizing these signs of manipulation is critical for safeguarding your mental health. Manipulators may shower you with calculated compliments and superficial gestures of kindness, all designed to elicit compliance and subservience. Their lies distort your perception of reality, 
creating confusion and self-doubt. However, by setting firm boundaries and seeking support from trusted friends, family members, or mental health professionals, you can begin to unravel the web of manipulation and reclaim autonomy over your life. It's important to remember that you deserve relationships built on mutual respect, trust, and genuine support. Refuse to allow anyone to undermine your individuality or diminish your sense of dignity. Choosing to break free from manipulation is not just an act of liberation. It's a declaration of your inherent worth and a commitment to living authentically. By nurturing healthy boundaries and surrounding yourself with positivity, you empower yourself to cultivate relationships that enhance your well-being and contribute to your personal growth and fulfillment. By freeing yourself from the clutches of the manipulator, you're taking a brave step towards a more authentic, healthy, and fulfilling life. In the subtle yet dangerous dance of manipulation, soon you find yourself questioning not only your perception of reality but also your own judgment and worth as a person. It's as if you're trapped in a whirlwind of confusion and doubt, where every step you take moves you further away from yourself. This is the insidious nature of manipulation. It distorts your perception of reality and makes you doubt your own abilities and capabilities. Over time, you find yourself trapped in a toxic cycle where your self-esteem slowly crumbles, replaced by an overwhelming sense of dependence on the manipulator. You convince yourself that you can't do anything right without their guidance and approval, which only reinforces their control over you. You find yourself in a constant state of anxiety and fear of doing something wrong, fueled by emotional manipulation and gaslighting, a tactic in which the manipulator distorts reality to make you doubt your own sanity. However, Awareness of these patterns is your first line of defense. Recognizing the signs of manipulation, such as emotional blackmail and gaslighting, is the first step to freeing yourself from their toxic influence. By becoming aware of these manipulative patterns, you can begin to reclaim your personal power and restore your self-esteem. It's important to remember that you're not alone on this journey. There are resources and support available to help you break the cycle of manipulation and regain your emotional independence. The reality is that facing manipulation can be one of the most challenging and painful experiences in someone's life. It's like being trapped in an emotional labyrinth, where every twist and turn takes you deeper into the web of manipulation. But despite the pain, it's crucial to recognize that you have the power to end this toxic cycle. Every time you confront manipulation and resist, you're defending your autonomy and your right to live a life free from control and coercion. Establishing boundaries in the face of a manipulator is an act of courage and self-determination. It's telling the manipulator and yourself that you value yourself enough not to allow your life to be dictated by someone else's whims. By setting clear and firm boundaries, you're asserting your rights and protecting your emotional integrity. You're sending a clear message that you're not willing to be used as a puppet in someone else's manipulative game. It's an empowering act that allows you to regain control over your life and restore your sense of self-esteem and personal worth. Although it may be difficult at first, Remember that you deserve to live a life filled with respect, love, and freedom. No one has the right to manipulate or control your life, and establishing healthy boundaries is the first step in creating more balanced and satisfying relationships. You are not alone in this process. There are resources and support available to help you navigate this path and build a life based on authenticity, self-love, and mutual respect. Recognizing the importance of support in our lives is crucial for our emotional and mental well-being. The lack of support is a crucial indicator that something is amiss in our relationships. The strongest connections, those that withstand storms and challenges, have an invisible yet powerful power and a powerful foundation of mutual support. They are those small actions and words that shape our daily lives, like a reassuring whisper that says, you can do it. When we feel nervous facing a challenge, a listening ear and understanding after an exhausting day, or simply the comforting presence of someone who is there for us in good times and bad. However, what happens when this vital support fades away? When we find ourselves alone, even with someone by our side, it's as if something is missing, a part of us that longs to be nurtured and sustained. This absence of support not only causes deep pain, but also raises difficult and persistent questions. Do our dreams and aspirations really matter to this person? Why do we feel like we're struggling alone? even when there's someone around. Recognizing and addressing this lack of support is essential for cultivating healthy and satisfying relationships. This may involve open and honest communication with our partner about our emotional needs and the kind of support we need. It may also be helpful to seek external support, such as couples therapy or individual counseling, 
to explore underlying issues and develop strategies to strengthen mutual support in our relationship. Remember that you deserve to be in a relationship where your emotional needs are valued and met. Do not hesitate to seek help and support to build a relationship based on trust, respect, and mutual support. These doubts and anxieties cling to you, undermining your confidence and leaving you feeling troubled and distressed. Support is much more than a word or an action. It is the fuel that drives our sense of confidence in ourselves and our abilities. Without it, the path to our goals and dreams becomes steep and full of obstacles. That is why recognizing the lack of support in a relationship is fundamental to preserving our self-esteem and emotional well-being. It is important to understand that healthy relationships are not perfect all the time. They have ups and downs, moments of tension and challenges. It is important to understand that healthy relationships are not perfect all the time. However, the lack of support within a relationship should be cause for reflection and deep analysis. It truly is a two-way street where both parties support and strengthen each other. If it's not, it is crucial to closely examine that dynamic. Perhaps it's time to set clearer boundaries and clearly communicate your needs to see if things can improve. Open and honest communication is key in any relationship, and sometimes simply expressing what you need can make all the difference. On the other hand, it may be necessary to understand the reality that the relationship is not working as it should. There comes a point where stepping away can become the healthiest and bravest option. After all, you deserve to be surrounded by people who believe in you, who propel you forward and strengthen you rather than weaken you. The lack of response to our expressed needs can be deeply discouraging and painful in any relationship. It's as if our words fall on deaf ears, leaving us feeling invisible and misunderstood. When faced with consistent negativity and pessimism in a relationship, it serves as a clear signal that something within the dynamic is amiss. It can be tempting to ignore these signs, especially when we hold on to hope that things might improve, or when we fear confronting the reality that our emotional needs aren't being met. However, turning a blind eye to these indicators only perpetuates feelings of dissatisfaction and discomfort. Recognizing and taking action upon these signs is an act of self-love and a pivotal step towards cultivating a more fulfilling life. By addressing these issues, we prioritize our own well-being and establish necessary boundaries in our relationships. It requires courage to confront these challenges, but it is essential for our personal and emotional growth. Advocating for our needs and insisting on respect in our relationships are fundamental aspects of maintaining healthy connections. By acknowledging these truths, we liberate ourselves from the emotional weight of relationships that do not nurture or support us. This liberation opens doors to new opportunities for personal growth and meaningful connections with others who align with our values and uplift our spirits. While recognizing the need to move on from such relationships can be painful, it is also an act of self-compassion and authenticity. Taking steps to transition away from negativity and towards positivity is a journey of self-awareness and discovery. It empowers us to seek relationships that enrich us emotionally and facilitate our individual growth. It's about choosing environments where optimism and encouragement prevail, fostering a sense of fulfillment and contentment in our lives. 6. Being in the company of someone who consistently sees the negative side of situations can be draining and demoralizing. Their pessimistic outlook not only colors their own perception of the world, but can also influence those around them. The air is filled with their cynicism and gradually seeps into our own way of perceiving life. Optimism and hope, which are so essential for maintaining a positive attitude in the face of challenges, are replaced by a sense of constant fatigue. They seem to be overshadowed by this cloud of negativity. This toxic atmosphere is not only unpleasant, but can also be harmful to our mental health. Constant negativity can generate a general sense of discouragement, undermining our self-esteem and eroding our confidence in ourselves and the future. Furthermore, it can suppress our own dreams and aspirations, making us believe that success and happiness are unattainable. It is important to recognize the impact of self-care and the need to protect ourselves. Striving to maintain a positive attitude and surrounding ourselves with people who inspire and motivate us can be crucial for preserving our mental health and cultivating a sense of lasting well-being. It is crucial to understand that relationships should be a refuge of support and mutual growth, but not at the expense of our own emotional health and well-being. Recognizing when we are trapped in a dynamic that undermines our happiness and self-esteem is the first step toward self-care. While it is natural to want to help those around us, it is important to understand that we cannot force another person's perspective to change. 
Sometimes the healthiest and most courageous decision is to set boundaries and create distance from those who constantly emit negative and toxic energy. Stepping away from a chronically negative person does not mean being insensitive or selfish, but rather recognizing that we deserve to surround ourselves with individuals who propel us forward and emotionally strengthen us. It is essential to prioritize our own well-being and build a positive environment that promotes our personal growth and happiness. Making the decision to distance ourselves from destructive relationships can be difficult and painful, but it is a crucial step towards a full and vibrant life. By freeing ourselves from negative influences, we create space for self-love, inner peace, and personal fulfillment. Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and Twitter are a constant sensation of exhaustion. The emotional exhaustion we experience after each interaction with certain people is a true warning sign, signaling that the relationship is consuming much more than it is contributing to our well-being. It is as if each person in our life is an emotional bank account. Some individuals make frequent deposits, enriching our world with love, support, and positivity. In contrast, others seem to only make withdrawals, leaving us exhausted, empty, and in extreme cases on the brink of emotional collapse. This concept invites us to reflect on the nature of our interpersonal relationships and how they impact our emotional state, urging us to recognize that we are not responsible for constantly recharging others' emotional accounts while neglecting our own. We need to establish healthy boundaries and learn to prioritize our own mental and emotional health. If someone constantly makes us feel like they are draining our energy, it is a clear sign that the relationship is unbalanced and potentially harmful. This type of exhaustion is not just a little tiredness, but also a lack of self-confidence. It is a profound depletion that affects our ability to be happy, motivated, and even face daily challenges. It is crucial to recognize this sign and its influence on our mental and physical health. Understanding that relationships should be sources of rejuvenation, not constant depletion, leads us to reflect on the impact that people around us have on our daily lives. Instead of feeling increasingly exhausted after interacting with certain individuals, we should feel revitalized and strengthened. When we come to constantly find ourselves exhausted after spending time with someone, it is a clear sign that this relationship is not positively contributing to our emotional well-being. Instead of nurturing and strengthening us, these interactions further sink us into a well of emotional exhaustion, leaving us drained of energy and vitality. Making the decision to completely cut off contact with someone who constantly exhausts us can be a wise and courageous step to protect our emotional well-being. Sometimes distancing ourselves is the only way to regain our vital energy and emotionally rebuild. By establishing healthy boundaries and prioritizing our own emotional well-being, we open ourselves to the possibility of building healthier and more meaningful relationships that nurture us, strengthen us, and help us grow as individuals. It's an act of self-love and self-care that allows us to cultivate a fuller and more satisfying life. It's essential to remember that you have the right and the ability to choose who you share your life and time with. You have no obligations to maintain relationships that emotionally drain you or that add nothing positive to your journey. Recognizing and prioritizing your own emotional well-being is not just important. It's essential for leading a fulfilling life. Surrounding yourself with individuals who contribute positively to your life and nurture your growth is crucial for your emotional health and overall happiness. These meaningful relationships serve as pillars that support your personal development, offering unwavering support and encouragement during challenging times. Managing your emotional space involves setting healthy boundaries and being attuned to how you feel in the presence of others. If a relationship consistently leaves you feeling drained, stressed, or unhappy, it's crucial to evaluate whether it aligns with your well-being. Taking care of yourself in this way isn't selfish. It's a necessary step towards creating a life that feels balanced and rewarding. By prioritizing your emotional health and choosing to surround yourself with supportive and affirming individuals, you cultivate an environment that fosters growth and personal fulfillment. These connections become a source of strength, offering comfort and companionship as you navigate life's ups and downs. Now let's delve into the importance of trust within relationships. Trust forms the bedrock of any healthy connection providing stability and security much like a sturdy ship sailing through calm waters. However, when trust begins to erode, it signals significant underlying issues. Imagine that same ship encountering internal corrosion. What was once a vessel of love and mutual support now faces uncertainty and instability. A relationship lacking in trust can feel like navigating treacherous waters without a guiding light. 
It involves constant apprehension that your words may be twisted, your emotions disregarded, or your vulnerabilities exploited. This erosion of trust undermines the foundation of emotional safety and stability that relationships thrive upon. Addressing issues of trust requires open communication, vulnerability, and a willingness to rebuild what has been compromised. It involves acknowledging concerns and working together to restore faith and mutual respect. Seeking guidance from trusted sources, such as couples counseling or trusted friends, can also provide insights and support during this process of healing and rebuilding. Ultimately, nurturing trust within relationships not only strengthens bonds, but also enhances emotional intimacy and mutual understanding. It reinforces the foundation upon which healthy connections flourish, offering a sense of security and reassurance that allows both individuals to thrive and grow together. By recognizing the importance of trust and prioritizing your emotional well-being in relationships, you pave the way for deeper connections and a more fulfilling life journey. The absence of trust creates fissures in the bond that ties people together, gradually eroding the foundation upon which a solid and meaningful relationship is built. Every lie, every betrayal undermines the integrity of trust, leaving behind a trail of suspicion and disillusionment. In a relationship without trust, suspicions and doubts become constant companions, poisoning the connection between those involved. Lack of transparency and the concealment of truth create an atmosphere of tension and paranoia, preventing the relationship from flourishing and growing in a healthy way. This is the poison that seeps into the core of a relationship when trust is lacking. When promises are broken, pain turns into betrayal, and secrets are whispered behind your back. The wounds they leave bleed constantly, feeling the constant need to protect your heart, questioning every word spoken. This is not the safe haven that a relationship should provide. Healthy relationships should be a refuge, offering support instead of sowing distrust. They should build you up, not keep you constantly on alert. Confidence in oneself and in one's own judgment. You find yourself questioning how you could trust someone who ended up disappointing you, reflecting on why you didn't notice the warning signs earlier. This experience can shake your self-esteem, generating doubts and feeding the fear of being hurt again, leaving a deep mark on your being. The lack of trust turns a relationship into an emotional battlefield, where every word and action are meticulously examined for signs of betrayal or disappointment. Living in this state of constant vigilance becomes exhausting, unable to relax or find peace in each other's presence. Rebuilding lost trust is a challenging and painful process that demands time, honesty, and commitment from both parties involved. It involves facing uncomfortable truths, acknowledging and rectifying past mistakes, and working together to restore what has been lost. However, in certain cases, a breach of trust may indicate that the relationship is no longer sustainable, and moving on may be the best choice to preserve your emotional well-being and self-esteem. Sometimes, making the decision to walk away from a situation where trust has become an unsustainable luxury is an act of courage and self-love. Recognizing when it's time to let go can be a testament to strength and self-respect allowing you to direct your energy towards healthier and more fulfilling connections. It can be distressing, especially when it involves people you deeply care about. But it's crucial to remember that you deserve relationships that feel like warm and welcoming homes. Prioritizing your own peace and emotional well-being is not selfish. It's an act of self-respect and self-care. It involves consciously choosing to surround yourself with people who create safe and nurturing environments for your vulnerability and authenticity. These are individuals whose hearts serve as steadfast havens, where you can share your deepest secrets without fear of judgment or betrayal. In such relationships, your vulnerability is not seen as a weakness, but as a strength that fosters deeper connections and mutual understanding. Distancing yourself from relationships that erode your trust and self-esteem is a courageous decision. It sends a powerful message to yourself and to the universe that you value your worth and refuse to settle for anything less than respect and reciprocity. This step is integral to cultivating a life that aligns with your values and aspirations, where you can flourish surrounded by genuine love and mutual respect. Now let's explore the ninth sign, which serves as a poignant alert in relationships. It resonates as a reminder that true connection involves a balanced dialogue, not a one-sided monologue dominated by the other person's narratives and achievements. It's akin to being caught in an endless loop of someone else's self-absorption, where your contributions and voice are overshadowed or dismissed. Experiencing this dynamic can be profoundly isolating and disheartening. It can leave you feeling invisible and undervalued, 
questioning your significance in the relationship. The more you feel relegated to the sidelines of someone else's life, the more your own sense of worth may diminish. It's natural to wonder if your thoughts, opinions, and feelings truly matter in such a dynamic, or if you are merely a passive observer in the narrative of someone else's existence. Navigating these feelings requires introspection and courage. It involves recognizing your own value and asserting your need for mutual respect and reciprocity in relationships. Healthy relationships thrive on genuine dialogue, where both parties feel heard, valued, and respected for their individual perspectives and contributions. Choosing to address and potentially recalibrate such imbalances is an act of self-advocacy. It's about asserting your right to be seen and heard within the context of your relationships, fostering an environment where mutual growth and understanding can flourish. By honoring your own emotional needs and seeking relationships that value your authenticity, you create space for personal fulfillment and genuine connection. It's a journey toward reclaiming your voice and asserting your worth in relationships that nurture and support your emotional well-being. This constant questioning leads to deep reflection on whether the current dynamic is benefiting us or leaving us empty and neglected. It's an urgent call to establish healthy boundaries and seek relationships that are truly reciprocal, where there is space for sincere dialogue, mutual empathy, and mutual respect. Instead of settling to be mere bystanders, we must strive to find connections that allow us to flourish where we can feel truly valued, heard, and respected. There's no doubt that we all enjoy sharing our achievements and moments of glory with those around us. It's a natural part of life to share our joys with those who matter to us. However, when this celebration becomes a constant monologue, where one person constantly monopolizes the attention and eclipses the needs, achievements, and feelings of others, it reveals an alarming lack of empathy and respect. Living with someone who constantly boasts creates an oppressive environment where your own successes, struggles, and even your mere presence are overshadowed by the dazzling light of their ego. You find yourself in a secondary position, feeling increasingly invisible and insignificant while the other person continues to project themselves in the spotlight. This dynamic not only undermines your self-esteem and sense of worth, but also poisons the quality of connection in the relationship, leaving you feeling discouraged and undervalued, as if your own successes and contributions are inadequate compared to theirs. Instead of fostering an environment of mutual support and celebration, this selfish and egocentric behavior creates a toxic atmosphere where personal growth and genuine connection are hindered. Someone's insatiable need for attention may be a manifestation of deeply rooted insecurities, but it's important to remember that it's not your responsibility to resolve another person's insecurities. In a healthy relationship, reciprocity is key. It's about giving and receiving support, recognition, and attention equitably. When you constantly find yourself as a spectator in a one-person show, where your contributions are ignored or minimized, it's a clear sign that the relationship is unbalanced and your emotional needs are not being met. It may be time to reconsider if this relationship is truly healthy for you. Stepping away from someone who turns every interaction into a superficial and one-sided experience is not only an act of self-preservation, but also an act of courage. Recognizing that you deserve a relationship where your opinions, feelings, and contributions are genuinely valued and respected is a crucial step in promoting your emotional well-being. It's essential to take the time for deep reflection on what you truly need and deserve in a relationship. Prioritizing your own emotional well-being is not selfishness, but rather an act of self-love. Don't hesitate to set healthy boundaries to protect yourself from situations that constantly make you feel undervalued or ignored. Always remember that you deserve a relationship where you feel genuinely seen, heard, and valued. You deserve connections that honor all parties involved, where there is room for all lights to shine equally. Being aware and courageous enough to step away from dynamics that deny this is choosing an environment where you can be authentically heard, valued, and truly understood. Lack of personal growth. If you find that the dynamics of the relationship you're in have become an obstacle to your personal and emotional development. It's essential to recognize the importance of taking steps to preserve your well-being. When a relationship begins to act as a break rather than a boost for your growth, it's time to deeply reflect on the impact it's having on your life. Stagnation in a relationship can take multiple forms and manifest in various ways, each of which can have a significant impact on our emotional and personal well-being. For example, you may find yourself trapped in a monotonous and predictable routine that prevents you from exploring new opportunities or exciting challenges. This sense of stagnation can make you feel stuck in a kind of limbo, 
where each day resembles the last, and the future lacks excitement or growth potential. Furthermore, stagnation in a relationship can also arise when our personal goals and aspirations are overshadowed by the demands or expectations of the other person. Instead of pursuing our own dreams and desires, we are compelled to prioritize those of our partner, which can lead us to feel that we are sacrificing our own identity and happiness for the sake of the relationship. Another way stagnation can manifest is through the adoption of roles or behaviors that do not reflect who we truly are. Instead of staying true to ourselves and living according to our values and beliefs, we find ourselves acting according to external expectations or adapting to the needs of the other person. This disconnect from our true selves can leave us feeling lost and disoriented, unsure of who we really are or what we want in life. In such circumstances, Stepping away from the relationship may be a necessary action to free yourself from the chains that are preventing you from growing and thriving. This distancing does not always imply a complete and definitive break, but rather a step back to assess the situation with more clarity and objectivity. It's an opportunity to reconnect with yourself, identify your needs, desires, and limits, and regain control over your life and your destiny. By making the courageous decision to step away from a stagnant relationship, you are taking a significant step towards your own growth and well-being. Recognizing that you deserve more than a situation that holds you back is an act of deep self-compassion and self-love. This act not only frees you from the chains of stagnation, but also offers an opportunity for personal building and reinvention. By stepping away, you are creating space for new opportunities and experiences that will nurture and help you flourish. This is a moment to reaffirm your own worth and your right to seek relationships that propel you forward rather than keeping you trapped in a cycle of complacency and conformity. Consider this moment as a journey of self-discovery and growth. By freeing yourself from the weight of a stagnant relationship, you are paving the way to explore new facets of yourself and embark on new adventures. This is a time to reconnect with yourself, identify your needs and priorities, and set the course for your future. Allow yourself to be compassionate with yourself during this transition process. It's normal to feel a mix of emotions, from sadness over loss to excitement for the unknown. Remember that you are choosing to prioritize yourself and that's a powerful act of self-love. As you distance yourself from the stagnant relationship, focus on taking care of yourself. Dedicate time to activities that bring you joy and satisfaction. Explore your interests and hobbies and strengthen your bonds with supportive friends and family. This is a period of growth and renewal and you have the power to shape your own destiny. As you move forward into this new chapter of your life, always remember your worth and your right to a relationship that uplifts and inspires you. You deserve genuine love and happiness, and by stepping away from what no longer serves you, you are taking an important step toward a more authentic and fulfilling life. This is the beginning of an exciting journey of self-discovery and personal fulfillment. This process may be challenging and painful, but it's also deeply liberating and transformative. Remember that personal and emotional growth is a journey that unfolds over time, filled with experiences, learning, and constant evolution. Healthy relationships play a crucial role in this process, providing a supportive environment for you to expand and develop all facets of your being. It's important to recognize that you deserve to be surrounded by people who inspire, challenge, and support you on your path toward growth and personal fulfillment. Do not fear taking the reins of your own destiny and stepping away from what limits or hinders your progress. This act of self-determination is a powerful demonstration of self-love and authenticity. By freeing yourself from stagnant or toxic relationships, you are making space for new opportunities, meaningful connections, and a greater sense of well-being and fulfillment. Remember that you have the power to shape your life according to your values, dreams, and aspirations. By honoring your own growth and development, you are cultivating a deeper and more meaningful relationship with yourself, which in turn allows for more authentic and enriching relationships with others. Do not underestimate the impact that making decisions that bring you closer to a more authentic, fulfilling life can have. Trust yourself and move forward with determination. Irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences in values, beliefs, and life goals can be one of the most challenging obstacles to overcome in a relationship. When two people have fundamentally opposing perspectives on what is important in life, it can be difficult to maintain a deep and meaningful connection. These differences can arise in various aspects, such as religion, politics, ethics, family, career, and other fundamental aspects of life. 
Let's explore how these discrepancies can affect a relationship and how to approach them constructively. It's essential to recognize that our identities are deeply intertwined with a mosaic of values and beliefs that shape our thoughts, decisions, and interactions throughout life. These values are not formed in isolation. Rather, they are influenced by a multitude of factors that encompass our educational backgrounds, personal histories, cultural environments, and familial traditions. Each of these elements contributes uniquely to the tapestry of who we are, influencing how we perceive the world and how we engage with others. When we embark on the journey of relationships, whether friendships, partnerships, or romantic connections, it's natural to gravitate towards individuals who resonate with our core values. Shared values can serve as a foundation for effective communication, mutual understanding, and the fostering of harmonious coexistence. They provide a common ground that facilitates empathy and solidarity, creating a sense of alignment and purpose in our interactions. However, it's important to acknowledge that absolute similarity in values across all dimensions of life is uncommon, if not improbable. In reality, even within the closest of relationships, there are bound to be nuances and variations in perspectives. These differences, far from being obstacles, can actually enrich the relationship. They present opportunities for learning, growth, and the exploration of new ideas. The diversity of viewpoints that arises from varying values can expand our horizons, offering fresh insights and broadening our understanding of the world and ourselves. It encourages us to question assumptions, reconsider our perspectives, and appreciate alternative ways of thinking and being. In embracing these differences, we not only deepen our connection with others, but also cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and empathy. Ultimately, navigating relationships with an awareness of the complexities and nuances of values allows us to embrace diversity as a source of strength rather than a source of discord. It encourages mutual respect, tolerance, and the celebration of each other's unique contributions to the fabric of our shared experiences. By fostering an environment where differing values are valued and understood, we create opportunities for profound personal and relational growth, enriching both our individual journeys and our collective experiences as human beings. However, when differences between partners are fundamental and extend into critical areas such as child-rearing philosophies, religious beliefs, career aspirations, or ethical stances, they can potentially give rise to significant conflicts. These moments underscore the importance of effective communication where partners can openly articulate their needs, concerns, and expectations with respect and empathy. Resolving such fundamental differences necessitates a commitment from both individuals to engage in constructive dialogue and mutual understanding. It involves efforts to find common ground, compromise where possible, and seek solutions that honor the values and aspirations of both parties. Sometimes navigating these challenges may require the involvement of a mediator or counselor who can facilitate discussions and offer guidance in conflict resolution techniques. It's crucial to recognize that while these differences may present obstacles, they also present opportunities for personal growth and the strengthening of emotional bonds. Engaging in constructive dialogue about core values encourages partners to deepen their understanding of each other's perspectives and to develop greater empathy and tolerance. This process not only promotes mutual respect, but also enhances the foundation upon which the relationship is built. By facing these challenges together, partners have the potential to transform moments of conflict into opportunities for strengthening their connection. This collaborative approach not only resolves immediate issues, but also cultivates a more resilient relationship that can weather future challenges with greater unity and understanding. Ultimately, embracing differences as avenues for growth allows couples to forge a partnership that is grounded in shared values, respect, and mutual support fostering a relationship that continues to evolve and thrive over time. Imagine a couple where one partner deeply embraces their religious beliefs, while the other identifies as an atheist. This stark contrast in perspectives on the existence of a supreme being and the purpose of life can often be a source of tension within the relationship. The religious partner may feel a strong desire to raise any future children within their faith tradition, viewing it as integral to their upbringing and moral development. Meanwhile, the atheist partner may hold reservations about organized religion, preferring a secular upbringing that encourages critical thinking and exploration of various worldviews. These fundamental differences can give rise to frequent conflicts and underlying resentments that can strain the harmony and stability of their relationship. Discussions about how to approach spirituality in their shared life, 
from attending religious services to celebrating holidays, may become charged with emotion and lead to impasses. Another common scenario of irreconcilable differences in values emerges when a couple has divergent life goals. For instance, one partner may aspire to a demanding career that demands frequent travel and long hours, driven by ambitions for professional success and financial stability. In contrast, the other partner may prioritize a more balanced lifestyle that allows for ample family time and personal fulfillment outside of work. These conflicting aspirations can result in ongoing disagreements over how to allocate time and resources, potentially leading to feelings of neglect or frustration. The partner focused on career advancement may struggle with guilt over missed family milestones or the inability to participate fully in domestic responsibilities. Conversely, the partner valuing family time may feel unsupported or resentful of what they perceive as the other's preoccupation with work. In both scenarios, navigating these differences requires open communication, mutual respect, and a willingness to compromise. Couples may benefit from seeking professional counseling or guidance to find common ground and develop strategies for resolving conflicts constructively. Building a strong foundation of understanding and empathy can help mitigate the impact of these disparities. Fostering a relationship where both partners feel valued and their individual values respected. Addressing differences constructively in a relationship requires a thoughtful and proactive approach. Here's an expanded perspective on how to navigate these challenges. Firstly, initiating open and honest conversations about values, beliefs, and life goals is foundational. These discussions serve to uncover the core principles guiding each partner's life choices and aspirations. For instance, Exploring why certain beliefs or goals hold significance can deepen mutual understanding and foster empathy. This process helps to clarify expectations and commitments within the relationship, establishing a framework for mutual respect and support. Empathy plays a crucial role in these conversations. It involves actively listening to and validating each other's perspectives, even when they diverge significantly. By empathizing with their partner's viewpoint, individuals can cultivate a sense of connection and emotional support despite differing opinions. This practice encourages a cooperative approach to problem-solving, where both partners feel heard and valued. Respect for differences is equally vital. It entails acknowledging that each person brings unique experiences and perspectives to the relationship. Embracing this diversity fosters an environment where both partners can express their individuality without fear of judgment or criticism. Respectful dialogue encourages collaborative decision-making, and encourages compromise as a means of finding mutually beneficial solutions. Learning to compromise is often a cornerstone of managing divergent values or goals. This involves finding middle ground where both partners' needs can be met to some extent. For instance, if one partner values spontaneity while the other prefers structure, compromise might involve scheduling regular date nights while also allowing for occasional spontaneous outings. Such compromises acknowledge and respect each other's preferences, promoting harmony and flexibility within the relationship. In cases where differences pose significant challenges, seeking professional guidance can be invaluable. Therapists or couples counselors provide a neutral and supportive environment to explore issues, improve communication skills, and develop effective conflict resolution strategies. Their expertise can facilitate productive discussions and help couples navigate complex emotions and disagreements constructively. Ultimately, addressing differences in a relationship requires ongoing effort and a commitment to growth. By fostering open communication, empathy, respect, and a willingness to compromise, couples can cultivate a resilient partnership that embraces both shared values and individual differences. This approach not only strengthens the bond between partners, but also nurtures personal growth and mutual fulfillment over time. Navigating irreconcilable differences in values, beliefs, and life goals within a relationship can indeed be complex. Here's an expanded perspective on how to approach and understand these challenges. Therapeutic support. Seeking guidance from a therapist offers a valuable opportunity to navigate conflicting values and goals within a safe and neutral environment. Therapists are trained to facilitate open dialogue, promote understanding, and provide tools for effective communication. Through therapy, couples can explore underlying issues, address emotional barriers, and develop strategies to find common ground or reach a respectful resolution. Acknowledging limitations. It's crucial to recognize that not all differences can be resolved, and that's perfectly normal. Each person brings a unique set of values and perspectives shaped by their upbringing, experiences, and personal beliefs. 
Some disparities may be too profound to reconcile without compromising one's core identity or integrity. In such cases, acknowledging these differences with compassion and honesty can lead to a clearer understanding of the relationship's viability and long-term potential, choosing growth or separation. When confronted with significant differences that threaten the relationship's stability and mutual fulfillment, couples may face the difficult decision of whether to stay together or part ways. This decision hinges on each partner's willingness and ability to adapt, compromise, and grow together. Sometimes, despite efforts to reconcile disparities, the healthiest choice for both individuals is to respectfully disengage rather than endure ongoing conflict or compromise their fundamental values. Embracing opportunities for growth. Contrary to viewing differences as insurmountable obstacles, they can also be catalysts for personal growth and relationship enrichment. Learning to navigate disagreements with empathy and respect can deepen understanding between partners and strengthen their emotional connection. By embracing diversity in values and perspectives, couples can cultivate a relationship that honors individual identities while fostering a shared sense of purpose and support. When facing such challenges in relationships, open communication is not just beneficial but often essential. It forms the foundation upon which partners can express their thoughts, feelings, and concerns openly and honestly. This kind of communication fosters an environment where mutual respect and understanding can thrive. Empathy, too, plays a pivotal role by allowing each partner to genuinely comprehend the other's perspective. It involves not only listening attentively, but also trying to put oneself in the other's shoes, which facilitates finding compromises and solutions that consider both parties' needs. Moreover, navigating substantial differences in relationships requires mutual commitment. This commitment entails a willingness from both individuals to work through disagreements, make compromises, and seek common ground that respects each other's values and aspirations. It's a process that often involves negotiation, adaptation, and sometimes personal growth. Through these efforts, couples not only address challenges, but also use them as opportunities to deepen their connection and strengthen their bond. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that in some cases, differences between partners may be so profound that they threaten the sustainability of the relationship. Despite best efforts and genuine attempts at compromise, there are instances where coexistence becomes untenable. In such situations, it may be necessary for individuals to evaluate whether staying together is truly in their best interests, considering their emotional well-being and long-term happiness. Overall, the journey of navigating differences in relationships is nuanced and complex, often requiring a delicate balance of communication, empathy, and mutual commitment. Each couple's path is unique, shaped by their personalities, values and circumstances. By fostering open dialogue, understanding each other's perspectives, and maintaining a commitment to growth and respect, couples can effectively address challenges and foster a relationship that is fulfilling and sustainable. In these circumstances, it's crucial to be honest with oneself and with the partner about the limitations of the relationship. Being truthful and transparent about one's feelings and needs is the first step towards understanding what is truly best for both individuals in the long run. Sometimes making decisions that prioritize long-term well-being and happiness may involve difficult choices, such as considering the possibility of parting ways if the relationship no longer serves both partners. Ultimately, the key to navigating irreconcilable differences in a relationship lies in cultivating mutual respect, fostering open communication, and maintaining a willingness to find solutions that honor the needs and values of both individuals. This approach not only fosters a deeper understanding between partners, but also lays the groundwork for constructive dialogue and problem-solving. By embracing these principles, couples can confront challenges with courage and resilience, forging a relationship that is solid, satisfying, and mutually rewarding. Recognizing discomfort in a relationship is crucial, as it often serves as an important signal that something may be amiss. When feelings of unease, anxiety, or apprehension arise in the presence of a partner, it's essential to listen to these instincts. These emotions can indicate underlying issues that need to be addressed, whether they stem from communication breakdowns, unmet expectations, or fundamental differences in values or life goals. Taking the time to reflect on these feelings and communicate openly about them can provide clarity and insight into the dynamics of the relationship. It's important to consider whether the discomfort is a temporary challenge that can be worked through with mutual effort and understanding or if it signifies deeper incompatibilities that may necessitate re-evaluating the relationship's viability. Ultimately, 
Each person's emotional well-being and sense of fulfillment are paramount. Choosing to prioritize self-awareness and honest communication can empower individuals to make decisions that align with their personal growth and happiness, whether that involves addressing challenges within the relationship or recognizing when it's time to part ways in a respectful and considerate manner. Discomfort in a relationship can indeed manifest in various forms, each signaling potential underlying issues that warrant exploration and consideration for the future of the relationship. It's essential to delve deeper into these discomforts to gain clarity and make informed decisions. One common source of discomfort can stem from inappropriate behavior exhibited by a partner. This might include making offensive comments, sharing tasteless jokes, or displaying disrespectful attitudes towards sensitive topics. Such behaviors can create a sense of unease and undermine the foundation of mutual respect and understanding essential for a healthy relationship. Another cause of discomfort can arise from a lack of respect for personal boundaries. This could manifest in ways such as invading physical or emotional space, pressuring someone to engage in activities they are not comfortable with, or disregarding their emotional needs and preferences. When boundaries are not respected, it can lead to feelings of insecurity, frustration, and a sense of being undervalued within the relationship. In some instances, discomfort may be exacerbated by a power imbalance, where one partner exerts control or engages in manipulative behaviors. This imbalance can erode trust and create an environment where one person feels dominated or coerced into decisions and actions that do not align with their true desires or values. Anxiety can also serve as a significant indicator of relational distress. Feeling constantly anxious or apprehensive about how one is perceived by their partner or walking on eggshells to avoid triggering a negative reaction suggests underlying issues that need to be addressed. Healthy relationships should ideally foster a sense of security, acceptance, and mutual support rather than perpetuating anxiety and uncertainty. Addressing discomfort and anxiety in a relationship requires open and honest communication. It's important for individuals to reflect on their feelings articulate their concerns to their partner, and explore potential solutions together. This process may involve setting clearer boundaries, establishing healthier communication patterns, or seeking external support such as couples counseling to navigate challenges effectively. Ultimately, recognizing and addressing discomfort and anxiety early on can be instrumental in fostering a relationship that is built on mutual respect, trust, and emotional well-being. It empowers individuals to prioritize their own happiness and fulfillment while working towards a relationship dynamic that is supportive, fulfilling, and conducive to personal growth for both partners. Anxiety within a relationship can stem from various sources, each highlighting potential issues that merit attention and resolution for the well-being of both individuals involved. Understanding these sources in greater detail can provide insight into how to address and navigate them effectively. One significant source of anxiety is an unpredictable pattern of behavior exhibited by a partner. When someone's reactions to our actions or words are inconsistent or difficult to anticipate, it can create a sense of unease and apprehension. This uncertainty can undermine trust and stability within the relationship, making it challenging to feel secure and understood. Additionally, anxiety may arise from a lack of open and honest communication between partners. When individuals feel unable to express their concerns, desires, or vulnerabilities without fear of judgment or negative consequences, it can lead to a sense of emotional isolation and dissatisfaction. Healthy relationships thrive on transparency and the ability to communicate openly about both positive and challenging aspects of the partnership. Fear represents a particularly alarming sign in any relationship. If someone genuinely fears their partner due to aggressive behavior, threats, or a history of violence, it is critical to prioritize their physical and emotional safety. Fear can result from past experiences of abuse or mistreatment, where individuals have endured physical, verbal, or emotional harm. Early signs of controlling or manipulative behavior can also instill fear and should prompt careful consideration and proactive steps to address potential risks. Recognizing and addressing anxiety and fear in a relationship requires courage and decisive action. It is essential for individuals to trust their instincts and seek support from trusted friends, family members, or professionals, such as counselors or domestic violence advocates. Creating a safety plan and establishing boundaries can be crucial steps towards reclaiming a sense of security and empowerment. Moreover, fostering a relationship characterized by mutual respect, empathy, and clear communication can help mitigate anxiety and promote emotional well-being. Setting healthy boundaries, practicing active listening, 
and seeking counseling together can facilitate constructive dialogue and strengthen the foundation of trust and understanding. Ultimately, addressing anxiety and fear within a relationship involves prioritizing safety, self-care, and emotional health. It requires individuals to advocate for themselves, seek assistance when needed, and take proactive steps towards building a relationship that is supportive, nurturing, and free from fear or intimidation. When we find ourselves grappling with feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or fear within a relationship, it marks a crucial moment to assess the dynamics and determine the best course of action for our well-being. This process involves several important steps and considerations to navigate the situation with clarity and care. Firstly, it's essential to assess the overall health of the relationship. Reflecting on the patterns of behavior, communication dynamics, and emotional impact can provide insights into whether the relationship is supportive, respectful, and conducive to personal growth. Seeking support from trusted friends, family members, or mental health professionals can offer an external perspective and valuable guidance in evaluating the situation objectively. Setting clear boundaries is another vital aspect of addressing discomfort or unease within a relationship. Communicating our needs, concerns, and expectations assertively and respectfully helps establish a framework for mutual understanding and respect. This process can empower individuals to assert their autonomy and prioritize their emotional well-being in the relationship. If upon careful assessment it becomes evident that the relationship is unhealthy or poses risks to our safety, it's crucial to take decisive steps to protect ourselves. This may involve creating physical and emotional distance from the other person, which can include reducing or ceasing contact, establishing safe spaces, and seeking legal or protective measures if necessary. Taking proactive steps towards healing and recovery is equally important. This may involve seeking additional support from therapists or support groups to process emotions, heal from any trauma or emotional wounds, and rebuild self-confidence and resilience. Healing from the experience may take time, and it's important to prioritize self-care and surround oneself with supportive individuals who can provide empathy and encouragement. In situations where leaving the relationship is deemed necessary for safety or well-being, it's essential to approach this process with caution and consideration of practical aspects such as housing, finances, and legal rights. Developing a safety plan and seeking guidance from professionals experienced in supporting individuals in abusive or unhealthy relationships can provide critical assistance during this transition. Ultimately, addressing feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or fear within a relationship requires courage, self-awareness, and a commitment to prioritizing one's own well-being. By taking proactive steps to assess, communicate, and if needed, safely distance oneself from harmful dynamics, individuals can move towards creating healthier, more fulfilling relationships or finding peace and healing on their own path. Our feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or fear serve as powerful signals from our body and mind, acting as crucial indicators that should not be dismissed or overlooked. These emotional responses play a vital role in safeguarding our well-being and guiding us towards healthier relationships and environments. It's imperative not to underestimate the significance of these feelings in our lives. They provide valuable insights into our experiences and relationships, highlighting areas where boundaries may be crossed, trust may be compromised, or emotional safety may be at risk. Ignoring these signals in favor of maintaining peace or pleasing others can lead to neglecting our own needs and diminishing our self-worth over time. When faced with situations that evoke discomfort or anxiety, it's common to feel tempted to minimize or suppress these emotions to avoid confrontation or maintain a sense of harmony. However, this approach can inadvertently perpetuate a cycle of emotional suppression and internal conflict, ultimately undermining our ability to cultivate authentic connections and nurture our own well-being. Instead, it's essential to cultivate self-awareness and emotional resilience by acknowledging and validating our feelings, even when they are challenging to confront. This involves tuning into our inner dialogue, recognizing patterns of discomfort or unease, and honoring our intuition as a valuable source of self-protection and guidance. By actively listening to and respecting our emotions, we empower ourselves to make informed decisions about our relationships and environments. This may involve setting clear boundaries, expressing our needs assertively and respectfully, or even choosing to distance ourselves from situations or individuals that consistently evoke feelings of distress or insecurity. Learning to prioritize our emotional health and well-being requires courage and self-compassion. 
It involves embracing vulnerability as a pathway to personal growth and resilience, rather than viewing discomfort or fear as signs of weakness. By embracing our emotions as integral parts of our human experience, we can cultivate greater self-confidence, resilience, and clarity in navigating life's challenges and nurturing fulfilling relationships. In essence, honoring our feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or fear is not merely about self-protection, but also about fostering a deeper sense of authenticity and empowerment in how we engage with ourselves and others. It's through this process of self-awareness and emotional validation that we can cultivate environments where our truest selves can thrive and flourish. Navigating feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or fear within relationships requires a thoughtful approach that prioritizes self-care and personal growth. These emotions often serve as valuable signals prompting us to assess and address dynamics that may be detrimental to our emotional well-being. By acknowledging and responding to these signals, we can foster a healthier and more fulfilling life. Setting clear boundaries is a fundamental step in managing relationships that evoke discomfort or anxiety. Boundaries define acceptable behaviors and interactions, empowering us to protect our emotional space and maintain healthy relationships. Communicating our needs directly and respectfully reinforces these boundaries, promoting mutual understanding and respect between individuals. In situations where relationships or environments become toxic or harmful, taking proactive steps to distance ourselves is essential for preserving our mental and emotional health. This may involve limiting contact with individuals who consistently undermine our well-being or creating physical distance from environments that induce stress or negativity. Recognizing when a relationship no longer serves our best interests is not a sign of weakness but a courageous act of self-preservation. Facing these challenges, though daunting, offers opportunities for personal growth and empowerment. By confronting discomfort and anxiety head-on, we cultivate resilience and deepen our understanding of our own values and boundaries. This process enables us to reclaim our sense of worth and dignity, affirming our right to live authentically and pursue fulfilling relationships aligned with our well-being. Choosing to prioritize our emotional health and well-being should never be overshadowed by fear of conflict or discomfort. Each decision made in the interest of self-care and personal growth contributes to a stronger sense of self and fosters a more balanced and fulfilling life. Embracing these challenges as opportunities for growth allows us to evolve into more empowered individuals capable of fostering positive, supportive connections in all aspects of life. In summary, honoring feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or fear within relationships is essential for maintaining emotional integrity and well-being. Listening to our instincts and considering steps to distance ourselves from harmful dynamics can lead to a path of healing and self-discovery. Embracing these moments as opportunities for personal empowerment enables us to cultivate authentic, fulfilling relationships that resonate with our values and aspirations. By seeking support and taking proactive steps to protect ourselves, we embark on a journey toward fostering a healthier, safer, and more fulfilling life. Addressing issues such as lack of commitment within relationships is crucial as it can profoundly influence their long-term sustainability and emotional well-being. The absence of commitment in a relationship often manifests as a significant indicator of underlying challenges that hinder its growth and stability. When one partner exhibits reluctance or an inability to commit to addressing issues and nurturing the relationship, it can lead to stagnation and eventual breakdown of trust and intimacy. Commitment serves as a cornerstone of healthy relationships, encompassing the dedication to working collaboratively through challenges and conflicts. It entails investing time, effort, and emotional energy into understanding each other's needs and evolving together as a couple. Without commitment, there may be a lack of willingness to prioritize the relationship's growth and address issues constructively. Understanding the impact of lack of commitment requires delving into its multifaceted effects on relationship dynamics. It can lead to feelings of insecurity, resentment, and unmet expectations, creating a cycle of emotional distance and disconnection between partners. The absence of a shared commitment to mutual growth and support may result in persistent conflicts or a gradual drift apart over time. Furthermore, exploring the root causes of commitment issues is essential for fostering clarity and initiating meaningful change. These issues can stem from personal fears of vulnerability, past relational traumas, or conflicting life priorities that hinder the ability to fully invest in the relationship's future. Addressing these underlying concerns through open communication, empathy and professional support can pave the way for rebuilding trust 
and strengthening the foundation of the relationship. In navigating the complexities of commitment, it's important for individuals to prioritize self-reflection and mutual understanding. This involves assessing personal values, expectations, and readiness for long-term commitment within the context of the relationship. Honest conversations about future goals, emotional needs, and shared aspirations can foster a deeper connection and alignment of priorities between partners. Ultimately, addressing lack of commitment requires a concerted effort from both individuals to cultivate a supportive and resilient partnership. It involves embracing vulnerability, fostering open communication, and demonstrating a genuine commitment to overcoming challenges together. By acknowledging the importance of commitment and fostering emotional intimacy and trust, couples can navigate obstacles more effectively and nurture a relationship that thrives on mutual respect, growth, and fulfillment. And lack of commitment within a relationship can have profound implications, affecting not only the emotional dynamics between partners, but also the overall health and sustainability of the relationship. One of the primary consequences of this lack of commitment is its impact on power dynamics. When one partner demonstrates reluctance or hesitation to fully invest in the relationship, it can create an imbalance where the other person may feel unsupported or undervalued. This imbalance can lead to feelings of frustration, resentment, and a sense of unfairness within the partnership. Moreover, a lack of commitment often manifests as an avoidance of addressing relationship problems directly. Instead of confronting challenges head-on and actively seeking resolutions, the individual may opt to ignore or downplay issues, allowing them to linger and exacerbate over time. This avoidance can contribute to a pattern of unresolved conflicts and tension within the relationship, fostering an environment where issues accumulate without resolution. The cumulative effect of unresolved issues and ongoing tension can significantly strain the relationship, eventually leading to stagnation and potential collapse. Without a shared commitment to addressing problems and nurturing growth, the relationship may struggle to evolve and adapt to the changing needs and circumstances of both partners. This can create a cycle of frustration and disappointment, eroding trust and intimacy over time. Furthermore, the lack of commitment can undermine feelings of trust and security within the relationship. When one partner demonstrates inconsistency or hesitancy in addressing challenges or making efforts to improve the relationship, it can raise doubts about their long-term dedication and investment. This uncertainty can lead to feelings of insecurity and anxiety about the future of the relationship, impacting both partners' emotional well-being. Addressing issues of commitment requires honest introspection and open communication between partners. It involves acknowledging individual concerns, understanding each other's perspectives, and committing to working collaboratively towards common goals. Building a foundation of mutual respect and trust is essential in fostering a supportive and resilient relationship, where both partners feel valued and understood. Ultimately, navigating challenges related to commitment involves a willingness from both individuals to prioritize the relationship's growth and well-being. By fostering a culture of open communication, proactive problem-solving, and mutual support, Couples can overcome obstacles and cultivate a relationship that thrives on shared values, mutual respect, and lasting commitment. This can lead the other person to question the stability of the relationship and feel insecure about the future together. In some cases, lack of commitment may be a reflection of deeper issues in the relationship, such as lack of communication or lack of mutual respect. If a person is not willing to commit, it may be an indicator that they do not value the relationship enough to make the necessary effort to maintain it. Commitment in a relationship should not be interpreted as total surrender or sacrifice by one party for the benefit of the other. On the contrary, it involves finding a healthy balance between the needs, desires, and values of both people involved. Commitment requires a genuine willingness to actively listen to the concerns, perspectives, and desires of the other. This involves being open to understanding the experiences and viewpoints of the other, as well as understanding. Empathy and the ability to put oneself in the other's shoes are essential for establishing effective communication and building a solid foundation for conflict resolution. Lack of commitment can undermine the health and vitality of a relationship, and it's important to address it proactively to prevent it from causing irreparable harm. This may involve having honest and open conversations about the expectations and needs of each other. It may be helpful to seek guidance from a couples therapist or marriage counselor for additional support in navigating the challenges of the relationship. When addressing lack of commitment in a relationship, it's important to remember that change takes time and effort. 
There are no quick or easy solutions, but with patience, dedication, and hard work, couples can overcome challenges and strengthen their bond. By recognizing warning signs and taking steps to address them proactively, couples can work together to build a solid and lasting relationship based on mutual commitment, respect, and love.